guys welcome back I'm going to be playing with some artist loft paint today some black and white and just see how my cells compare to my Montmartre black and whites uh, I'm going to use magenta and mauve and also the new pink uh, I'll grab the bottle this is it here, pink. So I just have a feeling that the Artist Loft Black and White will make better cells than the Montmartre Black and White. I don't think the Montmartre is as highly pigmented, but we'll have a little experiment and see. Let me get these bottles out of the way. I'm going to show you <clears throat> three of my beach pours that I've done recently the bloom recipe that I've swiped and then spun on my cake turntable. So that was the first one. And silly me, I, I did the blues backwards. Like, you know, your dark water, your deep water is supposed to be out here. I did it opposite. I did dark, light, lightest. So I'm gonna do them again and I'm gonna go light, darker darkest and swipe again so all three of these are wrong but they're still pretty so that was the first one and then I did this one which I thought looked more like a cliff with the waves breaking up against the, the side of the cliff so that's that one I dried beautifully and the lacing is gorgeous and then I did a third one, which I think is probably my best, except, again, I've got the dark water there. Um, yeah, it's backwards. But anyway, look, I'm going to do them again. I'll probably pour over the first one. So those, that's them. Because some of you guys like to see the finished product, so that's them. Right, let's get on to today's business. I'm doing pinks and then as I said black and white from Artist Loft and just see I it cost me a lot of money to get these in um, because Michael's in the States won't post to Australia so I had to get them to send them to a warehouse in the States and then the warehouse sends it out to me so it probably costs double what the paint costs to get them sent out. But, um, yeah, a lot of people use them overseas, and I thought I'll, I'll give it a go. So I think I've ordered three times now from Michaels. Now, this canvas here is a 25 by 30 centimetre, which is basically 10 by 12 inches. That's that little guy. And I'm just going to do two flip cups today because I'm just testing out these products together. I didn't want to do a big canvas. Because, you know, they cost a lot of money and use a lot of paint and there's no need for it just to see how they act together. So I'll do a small one. I've got my grubby gloves here left over from another pour, so let me get them on. I'm very wary about saving gloves at the moment. And it shouldn't be just at the moment, you know. It should be all the time. We should be conserving things. <laughs> but anyway, um, hopefully I'll keep up with it once um, this quarantining and lack of products and things and supplies is over. Right, now let's get some treadmill silicone in all of these. Um, coming up shortly, I'm going to do a video where I put in the coconut milk hair serum instead of the treadmill silicone. So watch out for that one. I'll probably do that later on this afternoon if Lexi hasn't gone into labour yet. She's just here under the table. Hey Lexi, do you want to come and say hello to everybody? Let me just grab her, hey? I don't think she'll probably like being flipped upside down on the table, but we'll see. Where is she? Lex, come baby. Come on. Oh, is that good girl? Oh, you're getting so heavy. Yes, you are. Oh, here's Miss Lexi. Sit down for a minute. Let me go around and see if we can actually see your face and try not to spill any paint. <laughs> there she is. Hey, baby. You want to show everybody your full belly of puppies? Lie down. That's a good girl. Oh, 
but let me just get you here. There we go. And roll over. There's a good girl. There's a good girl. Yes. Look at that belly. Hey, there's one there. She's been, she likes rubbing her belly on the grass, so she's been scratching it. Hey, is that a good girl? But there we go. There's the bubbies in there. Not sure how many are there. Two for sure. Don't know if we've got three or not. So hopefully she'll go into labour today. Well, she should do. She's due today. Oh, let me pick you up and put you back under the table on your bed, hey? There you go. So if she doesn't go into labour, I'll do another painting. And if she does, then I'll be sitting in the bedroom with her watching Netflix for the next 12 hours while we wait for puppies. All right, let's get back to work. Um, I have got 500 grams of mixed paint for this little size. So I've got 50 grams of pouring medium, 50 grams of paint. That's 100 grams. So we'll do three drops. Uh, pouring medium is my usual. 60 grams of 60% uh, Elmer's Gluol, 40% water. You can use school glue. You can use global glue. You can use Montmartre clear glue. It doesn't really matter what you use as long as you get the consistency right. Just don't use that really strong wood glue. Um, it's not called PVA glue. It's called something else. It's more expensive. Um, yeah, it made my paints curdle. So just stick to the PVA craft glue. What does PVA stand for? Polyvinyl something other. Carbonate, I don't know. PVA glue, white. White craft PVA glue. All right, I think I've stirred them enough. So this is my order. I'm going dark, light, dark, light. Dark, light, dark, light, dark. Back to the pink. All right, let's do this. Two layers in each cup. So half in now. She might even end up with three layers because I've only got two cups. We'll see what happens. Because normally when I do, you know, my big flip cups, I do five cups and there's not enough paint to go through and do three layers. Well, you feel a little bit thicker. Yes, you do. Hmm. Oh, well. Still be all right. And then the black, that's the artist loft. Now the black and white of the artist loft, I had to add an extra little bit of paint because they're much thinner. Well, I shouldn't say much thinner. They are thinner than the Montmartre paints. So I added an extra 10 grams of paint. Yeah, it looks as if I'm going for three layers, doesn't it? <laughs> I just put on my normal amount of paint, just give it a, a bit of a shake. Yeah, you definitely feel thicker, not coming out as easily. It looked the same and felt the same in the cup, but when you pour it out, that's when you can really notice if one's a little bit thicker than the other. Okay, here we go, last layer, hopefully. Hopefully. Oh, no, I've still got some in there. Okay, I'll just keep layering until I've used it all up. Although you're finished. Oh, the magenta, that's why, yes. The magenta, I forgot about that. Um, it was thicker. When I added my 50 grams of pouring medium and 50 grams of magenta, it was much thicker. So I had to add an extra... Oh... 10 grams of pouring medium and then I had to add an extra little splash of water as well it was yeah quite thick I should have done the same with this one it's quite thick too or thicker anyway should be all right hopefully <laughs> as long as all your paints aren't too thick or all your paints aren't too thin it won't really matter I don't think if you've got one that's slightly thicker than the others it should should be okay. It's probably, yeah, three layers and then it's just this guy that I've got a little bit left because I've made up that extra little bit. So everyone can have three layers and then I'll just put a little bit of magenta on top of the last black. Oh, 
So did many, many of you see my little live video the other day? It was my first, my first trial for a live video. <clears throat> I didn't advertise it because I thought, oh, I don't even know if it's going to work because I don't know how to do it. I've never done it before. So I just kind of did it and hoped for the best. Crossed my fingers, crossed my toes. And um, it worked. And I thought, yay, now I know how to do it. Because I didn't want to, like, advertise it and then get so many people, you know, there ready and waiting and watching. And then I couldn't do it, you know, because I really didn't know how to do it. It's one of these things that you don't know how to do it until you've actually pressed the button that says go live. So, yeah, it, it worked. So I'll do another one and um, I will advertise it. But you know what? It took... Um, about 20 hours to, um, to to process. I could, it was still up under my live videos token, but it wasn't there under my videos tab on my YouTube channel. It just said processing and actually contacted um, YouTube creators because they have a, a helpline, like a chat line, and you can actually get online and type in your question and they'll answer you straight away, which is great. Um, and I said to the woman, you know, I've, I've just put up a live video and it's still processing. It had been processing for like 10 hours when I contacted her. And she said, oh, it's just really busy at the moment with, um, you know, people in quarantine and isolation, I should say, not really quarantine so much. Um, and it's, there's so many people on the internet um, that it's taking such a long time. And I said, but it's already been, you know, 10 hours. None of my other videos take that long. You know, it takes maybe half an hour to upload one of these videos. Um, and she said, I'll just wait. Oh, okay, right. I thought, well, that's not very helpful. So anyway, I waited and the next morning I got up and it was there. So it worked, but it just took so long. And I don't know if it was because it was alive um, and it's a different sort of video. I, I don't know. But anyway, I'll try it again. Oh, look at that cell. Oh, I'm hopeful that this is going to be beautiful. Righto, let's do this. Oh, that was a bit squeaky. Let's just pour that on there. That's better. See, I didn't get as much of a blob there. I'm still trying to work out how not to get those blobs. Let me just put some paint on my corners. I'm going to tip them off anyway, but it just makes it easier for the paint to flow off. Throw those in the bin. Don't use the extra paint. Righto, look at that. Now, the paint's, you know, almost covered. I probably didn't need 500 grams, but rather have more than not enough, as I always say. Now, I'm going to torch straight away while that paint's nice and thick on there. And I don't mean thick in consistency, I mean thick as in a good layer of paint there. But uh, let's do this. Got my big boy, bad boy blowtorch. Okay, nice and high, round and round. And again, I'll try really hard not to over torch. I'm not really good at torching. I do try, but it's one of these things. It's just hard to do. It is. Your hand might drop a centimetre, you know, an eighth of an inch or something. Your hand drops and then, whoa, Cell City and Caterpillars. And you think, oh my gosh, I've ruined it. I personally prefer a little bit less cells and a little bit more background, you know. Trying for this edge here. Just carefully, carefully. I'm not even close enough. See that bubble? I'm not even close enough. Oh, there he goes. Here's a big one. I was going to say I'm not even close enough to pop bubbles, but generally I don't get close enough to, to pop bubbles. I'm just trying for over here. Really, really slowly. See, there's just a few come up. That's what I mean. Just really, really gently slowly you'll just have a few coming up that's all you need right, this is looking really good at the moment okay that's enough i'm just going to give those a minute i have got a few pesky caterpillars 
What are you going to do, hey? What are you going to do? Some people love them. Just let that wait for a minute. Let those cells come up and grow a little bit. What was that noise? Where are you, Lexi? Hmm? What are you doing, baby? Uh, she's restless. She's looking for somewhere to nest. I'll have to finish this up and go and sit with her. I think time is time is getting close. She's just restless. She's trying to get under the table there. There's a box under the table. She's trying to get into it. All right, actually, I'm going to zoom you in now a little bit now that we've um, finished showing you the big canvases so that you can have a little look a little bit closer at what I'm doing. Although when I tilt, I'm going to kind of, you might lose a little bit, but there we go. How's that? I think it's nicer to be closer up, isn't it? Well, so far, so good. But let's just see what happens when we start stretching. Actually, I don't even think I'll use my corner catcher. Just a bit of cardboard that I bend in half. I don't think I'll bother using it because I'm pretty much all over the corners. Um, there's a little, I don't know if you can see down there, there's a little bit of a messy looking cluster just there. She might have a hair in it. There's a hair in there. Hair, yeah, there's a little something in there. Okay, let's get to this. So, as usual, we'll go walk the paint to stretch everything out. So, the paint's going off the side there, that's why the corner catcher is handy. So I've lost the paint off the side there already, but I haven't got there yet. Because when you go that way, the paint goes off that way and off that way first. So you do tend to lose quite a lot of it. All right, I'm going to get it. I'm going to get my corner catcher. Just means I can get into that corner without losing it off the edges and then I can take it away and then I can still tilt off that later on if I want to. It's quite a big caterpillar just there that's looking a bit icky so I get, I get him off in a minute. But let's just go the other way. Actually I'll go like this and then as I go like that he'll go. See he's gone. There we go. I do like my corner catcher. I, I just think you get a better, better result. Look at that. Okay, let's turn him around. I'm just trying to see if the black and the white look any any better than... I should do another one like this using the Montmartre and see if it's any different. Oh, I should have tipped that off first. See that big circle there? That's That came out of the side of the cup when I was flipping my cup over. Alright, let's go. This side I don't need to do very much to because it's okay. It's got some cells there. So I think I'll just concentrate on getting this blob off and that little stripe there. So we'll walk them. And as we do that, they'll go like so. And we'll come back to the middle. Okay. And then that is pretty much all I can do really. Because the cells are starting to overstretch already, see they've they're starting to get a bit elongated. Well, there we go. What do we think? It's very bright, isn't it? Oh, look at that white around there. Mmm, it does look good. Let me just clean my hands off. I'll take my gloves off and take you down for a close-up. Massive cells, though. My gosh. There's one little cool. I'm going to fix up my sides, pick up a bit of paint, finish my corners, didn't quite get over those, put it at the top, let it run down on its own and make its own little pretty pattern, don't put it on and rub it in, that corner's done, I'm just wiping underneath, put it on 
top, let it run down on its own. That way it still makes a nice little design. Oops, missed a little bit again. Looks like my mix might have been a little bit on the thin side because everything's a little bit sort of overstretched. I feel. I'm just going to clean that off. Now I'm going to just fold that over. Just, oops, need to get my get off tripods on my fiddle pad. <laughs> I'm just going to do that just so it makes it a little bit easier for you guys to see the actual painting without all the mess around it. How's that? Okay, now I'll get my gloves off and I'll bring you in for a close up. Turn my light off. Okay, oh, damn light above me. I do feel it was a little bit on the, the thin side. Maybe I need to thicken up that artist loft a little bit more. But I'll, I'll go again and try again. Just not showing up as pink as it really is. It's much pinker, brighter. Got some nice cells. Background's really pretty. <laughs> Look at that. Another paw print ish. I've been seeing lots of paw prints lately. It must be telling me something. Puppies must be ready. Oh, there's a pretty cell. Look at that one. Oops. Goes a little bit um, glary when I get too close. But it is much more of a like a hot pink than a, a ready pink. To me, we're well, looking through the screen here, it looks more of a ready pink. But anyway, I'll put a photo up uh, and you can see that it's more of a, a hot pink, I guess, in the middle. Righto, there it is. Let me know what you think. I could do with some more cells just here, couldn't I? I wonder if I can torch with one hand. Hang on one sec. Just turn my blowtorch on. guys coming up, not many. There they are. It's going to come up pretty slowly. Let's go up here on the end there. takes a while. Let's go for some up here as well. And over there as well. Here we go. Let's see if I can turn this guy off without burning the house down <laughs> with one hand. There we go. So there's a few there that have popped up. They're really pretty when they start. Look at that guy. He's weird, isn't he? He's, he's, there's like four-leaf clover type thing, that one. Where else did I put a few? Just up there. A few more up there. Yeah, but I do think that my mix was a little bit on the thinner side, but I, I like having those little ones there 
just to balance off those bigger ones um, and fill in that blank space a little bit. So definitely we'll try again with the Artist Loft Black and White uh, just to see what we get. I think, yeah, I think I'll get a much better result if I just thicken them up a, a touch. So I'll do that next time. All right, I'm going to go. Wish me luck with, pu with puppies, Lexi's little babies. And um, hopefully I'll see you again with um, some little newborns. All right, thanks for watching, guys. Stay safe. Bye for now.